Greetings everybody, my name is like Funderdike, and I was asked uh, what's the difference between uh, In the Wake of God mod and the original Heroes of Mind Magic 3s with expansions. So, um, to do this I decided to make a whole new video and not do it in the game I have going on with Doomhammer, so uh, that we do not break the flow, keep it going and so on. Okay, so let's start. Um, this is campaign which they delivered. Um, as you can see, they changed a bit. Normally, in the in the huts, you could get your peasants. By the way, in this campaign, you start with just one peasant. This is your friend Dan. He's a very trustful friend, and well, he's, he's your best friend. So let's get those crystals first. Uh, oh, bad omen. Okay, okay, not good. Mm, whatever. What what was I talking about? So yeah. And uh, development of this mod started in 2001. It's fan-based mod. Uh, the original, the original modders uh, were not satisfied with the uh, um, pack of crusaders. Were not satisfied with the original map maker, so decided they to change a bit, uh, start modding, and um, they then developed their own map maker. The um mod, uh, event related model, ERM, and uh, right now uh, this mod is 3.584, F58F, uh, F for February, it's, uh, I think the last update came out in 2011, and in 2013 uh, it became uh, open source so everyone could mod it, could change it. Well, uh, the team was called uh, Car Walk or Walk Team. I did not find out any names. It sucks. I already know that I got a bad own. Um, Gala, nice. Want me to help you one day? Okay, yeah. So, um,. Okay, where do I have to go? Yeah, bad omen, I know. Um, they changed a bit and uh, as you can see, uh, with this model, with this arm, you are able to change the text, the function of, of any stuff you can find in Heroes of Mind Magic. So for example, if I want to wanted to make a mod where this iron is not a pack of iron but still looks like iron, I could do it. Okay, yeah. Okay. Take everything. Okay, hero. Whatever. Let's get down here and let's get that stuff. Ah, more wood love. But I don't know what's happening to my mama. So. Okay. Oh, there's a signpost. See? We found a hidden passage to the end of the campaign. Oh, okay. Great. I did it. Okay, you are not a real hero. Go in peace. On 3.52. So, um, but... So it's over. Yeah, I'm um, elim eliminated from the game. There is another way out. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Well, you could just pull the switch to kill me, but I the, the trigger, I don't care. Okay, um, what does the mod really change? Mod changes a lot in the original game. So you take your, uh, you make your normal stuff how you want to, to play, but then you can go to the lock option. And there you have a lot of options. Options, options, options. You've got options on uh, commanders. The new new type of uh, companion for every hero you got. Uh, he levels also with you and so on. Uh, you have new creatures. You have the option that creature dwellings accumulate creatures. Uh, more creature guards. You can change the AI. Uh, you have options on weak of monsters so that monster weak spawn. Moving monsters, if you want to have to do that, 
you have the option to, which is a very good one, uh, to have a new resource, Mithril. And Mithril allows you to upgrade some of your buildings. You can even upgrade your town further, your capital, your dwellings there, so they produce better, more creatures. Um, it's even possible with, where is it? Enhanced monsters to get monsters which are better. No, no, it was not enhanced monsters. There's another one. So there's a, isn't there's an option to, uh, which give, which, uh, in which you can upgrade your troops, your creatures even further than the only two, t two uh, options. So for example, uh, gremlins, you can upgrade them to center gremlins. So they look like a mixture of yeah, Santa Claus and Gremlins, but they uh, cast spells instead of firing, instead of throwing the stuff. Um, the skills got enhanced so that some skills like Scholar or Eagle Eye got more useful. Oh, um, as you can see, you drain spell points from the, from the caster and you have the possibility to counter beneficial spells. You in addition to learn more spells, um, oh, let's see, you get a got a new sp a new skill named warfare, which lets you combine. So you only need to learn warfare, and then you can also use the other the other warfare item. You got more, yeah, you got more objects you can visit, uh, more, more encounters you can visit. You got more. Artifacts, but you already you also can ban certain artifacts or certain spells if you don't want them for example you say Teleportation no, um, What is it? Let's see Yeah, ban. if you want to ban, ban Tom Portal or Amogedon, you don't like it uh, that, that the enemy uh, Totally wipes out your troops. No problem. You can ban it and this is not good. I don't know what that was um, let's, let's hope it still works. Uh, we do all random and we just jump into the game. So I can show you a bit in game. So, um, when you started your game, you are asked to vogify this map. You have to do that. If you want to do the campaign, which I was just playing, the one peasant campaign, uh, cam campaign, <laughs> campaign, don't do it. It's not, you don't need to vogify. Uh, it will create an error. It will still function, but certain not be able. you will not be able to. So, one thing I activated is I could set custom alliances. So let's make it. Um, we have eight players. Let's make it the alliances. In the first alliance, I want just myself. In the second alliance, I want those three and. Then he will automatically ask me if the other alliances in Team 3 should be composed of orange, purple, teal and pink. So yes, it's correct. Then the vogification needs to begin and let's do this. Take some time, depending on your, on your computer. But let's see, will it change something? I already see. Vogification is complete. Also, this is an option I also activated more skills also very nice no it did not change a thing so, let's see okay first the hero I start. oh navigation oh we don't okay Casper. okay let's take Casper. ah oh, so creatures actually not really necessary but uh, i want to do it Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll stick to this round. Comes here. Yes. Get the resources. Then you go to the prison. Let's see. What the fuck are you? Which basic learning? So basic learning. This is one example. It, normally you just get more experience while you earn experience, but now you get experience. Yeah, I'll check you. Okay, so let's see what can we find here. So training grounds, normal, normal, normal. 
Nope. Nope. There is nothing new. <laughs> this kind of sucks. Seriously. <laughs> this was not what I was what I, what I was hoping for. I hope to show. Oh no, no! Actually, there's one new treasure chest. Um, you got now three types of chest: your normal ones, this one, and I think a more yellow one. So they give you a lot more stuff. Oh, I will go there immediately. Um, let's take those that stuff first. Because oh, damn it! Wandering around with Marist. There is. So, this is your commander. He can level up and so on. Um, he's a shaman, so he needs magic. Basic intelligence, always nice. Uh, you, my friend, go there. Give him the stuff. Okay. Okay, so Marist will be my main hero for... Human campaign, interesting. Gnoll is a... Oh, Command of my troops. Okay, there's my wood first. And, well, stuff as usual. There's the enemy. This is kind of small. Do not find any new stuff. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I can do that. So, magic wall. Just like normal. But, you stop to fish in the well. Yes, I want to do that. You spend all day fishing in the well and eventually haul up a rusty old chest. Do you open it? Yes, please. And I get inside a scroll of water walk. Perfect, I don't even know if I have water. See about that? Okay. So let's get the... Oh, let's get the... Oh. By the way, let's... Okay. Okay, okay. Starting here is this... So let's get to this. So, this is a uh, chest for example. Normally you could have in a chest gold and experience. But this time I have either sulfur or attack. So, sure, I'll take the attack skill. And let's see, lots of familiars. Okay, let's take that one first. And skill and then kill them tomorrow. And hopefully I can show you a bit more new stuff. Yeah, let's take the magic. I probably do not have any spells on me. Do I have any spells? Oh, stone skill. Okay. Oh, by the way, his specialization was changed. He does not only have spell uh, stone skin, but also may cast it randomly in a battle at no cost. Chance is one to seven. And it's a with that. Actually, there's not, mu not much I can do, so you can still go fish. Yes, please. Yes, I want to open it, and I, inside I find ore. Nice. Okay, so, let's kill those familiars. Oh, I've not chosen a henchman yet. Oh, maybe I should do it. Henchman is a new, as an op also an option you can activate or deactivate. Uh, it gives you... you um, possibility to pick one of your troops and one man he will be transferred to a henchman the new henchman stack and they get better time well you can also split troops but I never got really the, the need to do that okay so my henchman gets first he got four to eight damage ten tw no he got 20 health which is a lot more and he got also more attack and more defense. So henchmen are better than normal. They... Okay. You can get annoying. Okay, 20. Let's cast it. Don't skin on my henchman. If the henchman would die, you could resurrect him in town, not... Um, game oh and the biggest thing is um fast haste oh nice six 
a taste of. Eight, ten, please. Um, if the henchman, if one of the henchmen dies, they will also add up numbers. But if one of them dies, the whole stack is going to die. Later in game, they will be a lot tougher. But big problem. Um, they can. Uh, well, they can die, and so if you got, let's say, 192 pixies, those 192 pixies will die if all of them, if one of them dies. So, keep watch out for your henchmen. Okay. So, we got a lot more options in this game. It would be a very long video if I would show you every option. So... Um, I will stop it right now. Maybe I will pay it on, but not in this video, and probably not in the video at all. Um, instead, I'll, if you're interested in this mod, if you want to install it, you can find it. I will post a link in the descriptions of this video. Um, but there, there are some problems. First, when you download it, you got to copy it in your Hero Three. Uh, you, folder or an extra folder but keep all of the uh, Hero 3 stuff in one for uh, of the Vox stuff in one folder. I copied it to my only to my Hero 3 stuff. Next thing if you are not from an English speaking country so like me from Germany uh, you have to change of oh, English speaking or Russian don't want to miss that um, if you're not one from one of those countries, you have to change in the system of your um, your Windows. You have to change it your your country to um, English-speaking country. It works fine with US, and you have to change your language of the computer to English. So you can change the change it back after you installed it, but to in, in order to to Direct the files to use the install. Uh, you have to change it. Then click the install. He will autom uh, automatically install it. Um, next big problem is don't use any signs which are not on the uh, which are norm not normal letters or not like the backslash and so on. It's okay, but if you got the U or the U, so what? Don't use it. It will not function. Um, well, then you can install it. You can also install the videos if you want video files for the campaigns. They do did it uh, quite a good job. Uh, or you could also install backgrounds for battles. But um, when I installed it and tried them, uh, I was I'm not sure. Uh, but I had the feelings that my computer crashed more often. I deinstalled them and then I... Um, yeah, since then it works fine except for this little pop-up you saw when I started this. So, I hope this is enough for VOC. I, uh, maybe I got you interested or what else. Thank you very much for tuning in and see you next time.